Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not? The Burst. I've mentioned it in quite a few episodes, but I have never had just a separate episode on these things. So, what is the Les Paul Burst? That is the term that is given to the Golden Era Les Pauls, the ones that pretty much started the craze that was used by many famous musicians and they have all these stories and lore behind them as to why they are magical instruments. They are the Stradivarius violins of the guitar world. These things command crazy money, anywhere between roughly 150000 for like repaired examples all the way up to other crazy amounts of money, but 250000 seems to be a good price to quote, but these things have sold for upwards of 400 plus. But the burst I've chosen to feature today is what the seller is claiming, as well as Vintage Guitar Magazine, is what might potentially be the very last one made. So it's kind of interesting that we have the last one made, as well as the first one made. But it has a really nice tight flame to it, like it's not a monster top, but it's just subtle enough with nice finish checking, it's just a gorgeous guitar. The seller of this instrument is claiming that it is a custom order because it is 300 digits after the last burst that has been known and documented. Adding to that, instead of the five digit serial number, like zero space XXXX, this one's more akin to like the 60s SGs where they have six digits that are just you know, all smushed together because they had run out of serial numbers. The seller exclusively points out that the finish on this one is much nicer than most 60s bursts. Now if you don't know, 1959, those finishes are known to fade because of the aniline dyes that they used. There was actually case candy with bursts new that said, Dear Mr. Dealer, and it told them not to display them in the sunlight because of the fading. But in 1960, they, I think they changed stuff up so they wouldn't fade as much or at all. And that's when the whole clown burst was born. So the seller's trying to say that the color is spectacular on this one, which it is. But the seller does not provide any critical photos that would be needed to further identify this as even a real Gibson. Heck, he doesn't even have a headstock shot. But then again, serious buyers for this kind of stuff will reach out for those kinds of photos. But apparently this guitar also has a heel repair. I feel like that would be pertinent to put into your listing when you're asking $575,000 for it. I'm not a player in this game, but I think that price is a little bit over the top for one that has been repaired. So now I want to answer a question I get asked quite often. Do I lust or pine after owning a burst one day? And my honest answer is no. Now that doesn't mean I won't ever buy one, but the reason why I don't lust after this instrument is because there's just too many fakes out there. And some of these are really good replicas that even fool the best of the best when it comes to the experts of identifying these guitars. I feel like the entire buying process for a burst would just be too stressful. I was scammed out of $16,000 on a fake snake pit very early on when I started doing this. And that was enough of a loss for me. I can't imagine the people who find out they buy fake quarter million dollar guitars. But I'm plenty happy with my 70s and 80s Norlin era Gibsons. Sure, they might not be as historically correct, but they're an older instrument, and honestly, I've grown to love them to be just as nice as these. There's also the other fact that once you reach like a dream guitar and you play it, 
if it doesn't meet your expectations, you feel like a void in your life. So sometimes it's better just to have something be part of a mythical status. That's why if I ever see a burst at a guitar show, I don't even want to look at it. Like, I'll sneak a peek or two, but touching and playing one, eh, it's just not important to me. I would rather just let the mystery of the burst remain a mystery. So now that we've learned a little bit about my feelings of the burst, as well as the supposed last burst ever made, let's go ahead and hear the audio sample of this guitar that the seller provided. <laughs> question left would you rock the last burst made or not leave your answer down in the comment section below hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video with a friend who would enjoy it and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode take care